Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, Appa is going to cook lufa with egg today. Uh, with a little bit of uh, sauce so that I can uh, eat it together with my rice. Yeah? This is uh, lufa. It actually looks like the star a little bit. Yeah? The, the appearance. Uh, and then you have to remove the hard skin yeah the hard skin when you choose it make sure the one you choose is a little bit you can feel the heaviness it cannot be very hollow if you feel it's very light don't buy it yeah even though it will look sometimes it will look very big um, if it's very light then meaning uh, it has already um, becoming more like sabun already <laughs> inside it's becoming hollow so this one make sure it is very heavy and after you cut it out, you don't have to remove the center part. Usually, I will keep the center part, yeah? Unless this is very old. If this is very old, then I will remove the center part, the seeds. You can eat. The, uh, usually, I will eat the seeds together, lah. usually. Lah. If you don't want, you can remove the seeds. So, two eggs, garlic, that's all. And a little bit of seasoning, uh, oyster sauce and stuff, yeah? Simple, 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 but super, super flavorful. Okay, so heat up approximately 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil inside the wok. Put in the egg. I'll, I'll season the egg a little bit with salt and white pepper. Let it stay a little bit and you can break it out. The moment you break it out, it is the time you can add in the lufa. Scrap the bottom as, as much as you like because this is a standard steel wok. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Then I'm going to add in some hot water. Oh, I forgot to pre-prepare pre some hot water. A bit more. This is probably one of the easiest but most flavorful vegetable dish that you can make at home, seriously. If you never made it before, go and buy a lufa and try. You will fall in love with it. Okay, so make sure all your lufa is nicely submerged under the bra. They will shrink, yeah. They will shrink shortly. So let's season this with a bit of uh, oyster sauce. Personally, one tablespoon. A bit of my favorite fish, Vietnamese fish sauce. By the way, all the info, all the ingredients that I use, you can actually, I will put it inside the decision description area. You can go and look for it. A little bit of light soy sauce. Few dashes of white pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar. Notice I haven't added in the garlic yet. Because I prefer garlic, if you add it towards the end, it will give you more uh, more garlic garlicky flavor, yeah, towards the end. But if you prefer the fried garlic flavor, then you can actually add, uh, you can actually pan fry earlier. See, it is almost done already. You can see very clearly as it was all, all will become a little bit uh, more uh, softer and also um, transparent. Now it is already super flavorful. I can add in the raw garlic right now. Appa is a garlic person, so I put the raw garlic towards the end. So 
for those who really who prefer fried garlic flavor, no problem. Appa also has some fried garlic. Appa always make my own fried garlic at home. You can also look for my video on that. Okay, so once you see all everything is actually softened, it's basically done. I will probably close this for one minute and then take it out and it should be done later. We'll come back shortly. Alright, this is after about approximately one minute. Oh, beautifully done. You can make it even nicer by adding a little bit of garlic oil right now, right before serving. This is optional. Usually, Chinese chef will actually add a little bit of uh, flavored oil, flavoring oil right before serving. Okay, done. So I'm going to move this over to the serving plate. All right, so here's my uh, lufa and egg stew. Very simple, extremely flavorful. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.